What's up, YouTube? This is Ryan, and welcome to The Nook. Now, with the Nintendo Switch being released on March 3rd, the hype is real. However, a lot of people are comparing the Nintendo Switch to the PS4 and the Xbox One, saying that there's no reason to pay $300 for the Switch. You can get a PS4 or an Xbox One for around $250. But I really don't think that people should be comparing... Nintendo to Microsoft or Sony at all. My hope is by the end of this video to get you to see that. Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony have been kinda at war for years. Every time Microsoft or Sony makes a new console, the other has to come up with another one. And I feel like when Nintendo releases a new console, they try to compare it directly to Microsoft or Sony's new console. But the thing is Nintendo isn't really trying to rival Microsoft and Sony in the same way that Microsoft and Sony rival each other. When Microsoft and Sony release new consoles, really the only differences between their new console and their old console is that the graphics are better, it can hold more space, and it can play new games. The thing about Nintendo is that their goal isn't necessarily to increase graphics or add more space into their consoles considering the Nintendo Switch only holds 32 gigabytes and you have to get a micro SD card if you want to play more than one game. Nintendo's always been about doing something different. Like when the Wii came out. The reason the Wii was one of their best selling consoles wasn't because the graphics were better or because it could hold more space. It's because they had motion control. That was huge, and no other console had released anything like that before. And you could also say the same thing for the 3DS. When the 3DS came out, it was huge, not because it had better graphics, it was huge because now you could play games in 3D without glasses. That was such a big deal, and it was something so different, that's why it sold so well, and it's still selling well now. However, even though they do a lot of new, different things that help them be really successful, it can't have the exact opposite effect, like when the Wii U was released. This was the first time that there was a controller for a gaming console that had a touch screen built into the controller, which is very different from Xbox or PlayStation, but it did not sell well, only selling like 13 and a half million. I do think a big reason that the Wii U didn't sell well is because they didn't advertise it that well. I know a lot of people that honestly thought the Wii U was only the controller and that it was just an add-on for the Wii. I think that if they had advertised the Wii U a little more, it might have sold more. But considering they've already stopped production, it's kind of too late for that. And then, of course, we have the Nintendo Switch. Now, the Nintendo Switch has already sold well before it's even been released. Pre-orders are sold out everywhere, and everybody is looking forward to getting this console, including myself. Even though this is a brand new console with a lot of new ideas, new technology, it's still similar to the Wii U, but this time I think they did a way better job of advertising it. Even paying for a $5 million 30 second commercial in the Super Bowl to get people to see it. And now there's a lot of hype for this console. So I don't think it's fair to try to compare Nintendo to Microsoft or Sony directly by trying to look at each and every little aspect of it and say the Xbox One or the PS4 is better than the Nintendo Switch because the graphics are a little better. I just really wanted to put this out there because I'm really looking forward to the Switch, having that pre-ordered, Breath of the Wild, and even the Elite Player Backpack. And I have friends that tried to tell me that I shouldn't get it because the Xbox One and the PS4 is better and it's cheaper. I hope that for those listening, that if you were trying to compare Nintendo to Microsoft and Sony, that have made you see that you can't directly compare them because of how Nintendo advertises versus Microsoft or Sony. And for those that already saw Nintendo as something completely different than Microsoft or Sony, 
I hope that all I did was strengthen your opinion. Well, that's all I have time for today. Please subscribe down below, like this video, follow me on Twitter, and stay tuned for future videos. This is Ryan in the Nook, signing out.